Hi, this is Ben. And this is Cole. And this is Audrey. We are making a screencast using Screencastify. You can add the app to your Chrome bar. It's really easy to use. A screencast is where you record what's on your screen. You can record your voice and what's on your webcam, although we don't usually allow access to our webcam as students. On the Screencastify website, they have an awesome downloadable guide of great ways you can level up your teaching and our learning. Here are some of our favorite ways to use Screencastify. You can narrate your Google Slides. That's what we're doing right now. Teachers can explain themselves, or even better, students can explain our presentations. My teacher uses Screencastify to show us how to do things on the computer. She records herself on Screencastify and then posts the videos to YouTube for anyone to watch and to Google Classroom just for us students. It's useful for a teacher to record a lesson or instructions so students can watch it when they have a sub. In math, we can talk through our thinking on, our, on math problems so our teachers can see and hear our process. You could also teach other students how to do a math problem. Maybe students have a different way of thinking and explaining things that another kid could understand. What do you think about doing a book review on Screencastify? You could speak your review instead of writing it and show examples from the book and pictures. And you could actually share it with other students. I don't like doing reading logs, but I wouldn't mind saying them. It's kind of like a podcast. Yeah. You could narrate code you write. You could share with your teacher or another student how you coded something. They might be able to help you or find an error in code, and they can also learn new ways of coding. We are doing this in a class right now. We are critiquing each other's phot photography, and then we are sending our videos in to an international school overseas so that they can also give us feedback on our 3D printing designs. Don't forget, teachers can give feedback too. Don't for, don't forget to click allow access to the microphone because that's what Ms. Parham did once for 30 feedbacks that she recorded. Students and teachers can make their screencast and then upload it to Edpuzzle so you can add questions for other students to answer. Oh, that would be a cool idea to do for critiquing each other's work. You could ask for specific feedback using the prompts in Edpuzzle. Don't forget, you can also post to Flipgrid so you can get feedback there too. This is Audrey, Cole, and Ben signing out. Thanks for watching and make sure to use Screencastify on your lessons to level up your lessons and our learning.